Welcome to this video on solar air conditioners in which we will explore how you can reduce your air conditioning bill by more than 30%. As you know, Synergy Files is the channel for aspiring engineers and technologists that are striving for a better, more sustainable world. Subscribe today so not to miss out on our latest technology videos. During summers, when temperatures can soar to mid 40 degrees centigrade in many places around the world, air conditioning becomes more than just a luxury. However, it is costly to cool spaces, particularly in areas with high level of humidity. One of the advantages of cooling instead of heating is that cooling is required more when there's more heat energy around to tap into, or in other words, when there's more energy available. To be more specific, we have more solar energy available to us. On the other hand, heating is required when there is less energy in the ambient to tap into. Now there are systems available in the market that sell PV panels alongside your domestic air conditioners and part of the electricity consumed by the air conditioners is provided by those panels. We will not be discussing these systems in our video. Instead, we are interested in technology that uses heat from the sun to provide the energy directly in the thermodynamic cycle of your air conditioner. Space cooling accounts for the largest electricity consumption in the Middle East. In Australia, space cooling accounts for 20% of the consumed electricity. Recent research has revealed that air conditioning systems today account for almost 15% of the total energy consumption of the world. Now there are two different ways for air conditioning. Two most common are vapor compression cycle and absorption chilling cycles. Interestingly, in both these refrigeration cycles, solar energy can be used. Take the example of vapor compression cycle. In this one, the refrigerant is passed through a compressor. The compressor increases both the temperature and the pressure of the refrigerant. If the refrigerant is already preheated, then the workload of a compressor is reduced. Similarly, in an absorption cycle, heat is required to evaporate refrigerant. Again, solar energy can be used for this purpose. To sum up, solar thermal energy can be used directly to reduce energy consumption of air conditioners. There are AC units being sold today that come with solar vacuum tube collectors. It has to be mentioned that there needs to be proper testing for these units. There's a wide scope of research in this area, particularly for smaller domestic units. Perhaps it is now up to the major players in HVAC industry to speed up the research and development of solar air conditioners. It also has to be mentioned that before thinking of cooling any confined space, there is always scope in reducing the heat load first. So take any room for instance, shading can provide huge reduction in the energy required for cooling that space. Also the removal of moisture in the air makes life extremely easy for an air conditioning unit. This is because even for a normal air conditioner, huge portion of energy goes into dehumidifying the air first before it is cooled. Thankfully, there are now desiccant cooling systems available in the market that make use of solar energy and remove moisture from air. Many companies are offering solar powered desiccant cooling wheels the use of these systems have shown to reduce the primary consumption of electricity for cooling by up to 32%. So I hope you guys would have learned from this video about solar thermal air conditioning systems and its types. Keep an eye out for products that make use of this technology and you can see a significant reduction in energy bills if you use them. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out the other videos in our archive to feed your engineering flair. Thank you for your attention.